based on what they've done, I would have every right to go after them. In his own words. Yeah, I think we have to be really honest with ourselves. General Mark Milley is a professional. He knows exactly what he's saying. And as you said, it's not like he's particularly candid with the press. This is the guy that stood beside Donald Trump when Donald Trump was like, can't we just shoot the protesters? And he was like, no. He's like, can't we just shoot them in the knees? And he was like, no. And they ended up putting tear gas on them and they went and did the Bible photo. When we think about fascism, we have to remember that there are so many signs that are actually happening. There's weaponized nationalism. There's scapegoating of minority groups. There's mythology of a better time back in the day when we were great. There is obviously the cult of the leader. There's the weaponization of the Justice Department, the cutting down of the free press, right? And now he's talking about locking up political enemies. He's talking about rounding up people and putting them in camps. These are all fascist behaviors. And the sooner we stop pretending that that isn't a word that could come to America, the better off we are, because this is a real fear that people should have. And if someone like General Mark Milley tells us that this is a real thing, then we need to listen. He is not Hitler. He's not Mussolini. He's talking about if good genes fascist, and bad genes at this if point. If he were a fascist, he had the opportunity of a lifetime to show us that during COVID by declaring an emergency and doing whatever he wanted. Uh, and he didn't do that. That was you know, when he I was still surrounded by people like General Mark Milley. He was just, still surrounded by people who could hold back his worst mm -hmm. interests. The second version of Trump will not have any of those people. I think you're right. He the will be absolutely will be surrounded by people that will say, sure, yes, let's shoot the protesters.